call this meeting to order and begin our uh, meeting with Mr. Um, this call is now being recorded. Mr. Ellis Hollis and our prayer and our pledge. Thank you. <clears throat> I just thank you, Lord, for the grace and your grace and your mercy, Lord. And just thank you, Lord, for the honor to serve our, our students and our faculty and staff and uh, the constituents here at Lady County. We just ask during these times that uh, a special blessing and protection be upon all of those here and across our nation, Lord. And that, uh, Folks return to you to seek you, Lord, and that uh, we know that you're in a great position to be with you or all. And so we just uh, look to you for guidance and wisdom and everything we do. I ask that you season our words with uh, uh, salt and grace and mercy as we go throughout our, our meeting today. Help us make wise decisions uh, for our students in our county. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. Thank you, Mr. Edison. Um, and thank you, everyone, um, for being here remotely and for um, bearing with us for the meetings. And I think this is um, the first time we've ever had to have a um, school board remote meeting. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So this is different, and we're all learning together. So thank you, everybody, for your patience and everything today. Um, I would like to, um, do I hear a motion for the adoption of our agenda? So I have a motion by <coughs> Mr. Etheridge, do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Aswell. Um, all those in favor, and if you can just um, say your name um, so that we have everyone that's voted. Darren. Aye. Mr. Coward. Aye. Mr. Lindsay. Aye. Mr. Edwards. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Um, we uh, have staff and we have a press visitor, and thank you very much for being here um, at our meeting today. Um, is there any other, is there anyone that would like to address the board? If not, we'll um, proceed to our minutes of March the 10th. Uh, are there any changes? Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes? I have a motion by Mr. Um, Coward. I hear a second. Second by Mr. Etheridge. All those in favor? Um, motion passes. Um, we will move forward to our consent agenda. Yes, okay, I have some changes if you'll let us know what they are. On page three, um, B2, Monica Cooper, we're going to strike through that and delete it. She said put that on hold. B3. B2, okay. B page three. Yeah, I'm going to go to the first JBES teacher second for personal leave. Okay. She has uh, rescinded that. Is there any other changes? No, no, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to start um, with Mr. Etheridge with comments. I think most of mine has been uh, answered yesterday with the superintendent. Uh, I just want to make note there, Ms. Stevie Jean Watson. Uh, been at Joyce Club for a long time. Let's see, she's actually in the drop program. We appreciate her service. That's it, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Cowart? Well, I'm not answered, so I echo what Mr. Edwards so always, uh, whenever we lose people that have put in a lot of time and effort in our district, so that we uh, a little bit of a, a learning curve for the next person, so I just appreciate that. So, and uh, appreciate Ms. Anna always willing to step up and, and help the district, so I think that's a good, good thing also. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Askell? Uh, the only thing I have when I, when I talk with Mr. Jenna is I didn't ask him about this. I mean, I, my question is, how is the, the virus quarantine, travel the restriction, how is that going to affect these various folks on their leave request going to education seminars to train? As they were voting on today. Well, some of them. Are they to approve it in case it does? They're able to do it? Yes, sir. I mean, we're, we're, 
there's stuff that we've approved that since uh, times have changed, the things that get canceled. So you can't go if you're not approved, but if they're canceled, we, we cancel out if we don't go. So we're working on two week in increments, and as if the window moves, we move with it. Most of those qualifications are outlined by the state, yes, sir. Okay, fine. No problem. That was all, that was all I had. Okay. Ms. Clemency? <clears throat> Ashley, do you have any questions? Sorry, Dave. I'm having a hard time hearing you. No, I don't. I agree with what uh, Mr. Edgar and Mr. Power said. Uh, I thought it was hard to lose 50 people. I saw Eva Watson was on the, the list off the She's another good one that we're losing. Thank you. Um, and I think I had spoken with the superintendent as well and answered most of the questions. And my concern was the exact same thing that Cameron had about our, um, our travel. And um, it is unknown, and we don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I think that um, I, I like what you said, Mr. Edison, about the two weeks, and we're looking at that, and and, and I think that that can be our our, our lifelong um, issue of um, you know things being approved or on there, and maybe going forward that we do learn from this, and we can you know kind of really watch that and make sure they're on there in the two weeks and approved and um, things on our agenda. So thank you very much. Um, do I hear a motion to approve our consent agenda? I have a motion by um, Cameron. Is there a second? Second by uh, Mr. Power. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Motion um, passes. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Edison. Okay. Uh, first off, uh, thank you for your, your accommodations today in, in doing this. And <clears throat> we had several things on the board for a presentation. And as we uh, learned a little bit, you know, this, this came quite quickly. So we had to, we pulled some presentations off that we'll share with you because we have to get comfortable with this as well as you do. And so what we'll bring, um, what you'll see in the future will look more like what you normally see as far as different things and, and just keeping you informed in the day to day activities. I do have some quite, a, as you know, we've been doing a lot of work around here. Um, I do have to give a lot of compliments to our, to our staff. Um, all of our schools have plans in place. Uh, each school looks a little bit different. Uh, most of our elementary schools are working on packets, and they're going on uh, one week to two weeks of packets. Like I say, we're operating mainly on two-week timetables. And as we learn more, we'll shift the window. Hopefully, this will be a short, uh, short window, so we'll get back to regular the kids back in school as quickly as possible. But the principals have been outstanding in uh, working in uh, our staffs, whether it's our aides or whether it's our teachers, uh, in serving our schools and serving our kids. Uh, as we have a little preliminary discussion in here, the ones that are, are all of our kids are important to us, but the ones that are most important to us right now are the graduating seniors. And uh, we've gone out and purchased, 50, uh, I don't know how many Kajiks it are, I think about 50 Kajiks, which are hot spots, uh, to the tune of $10,000 to make sure that those seniors that do not that have connectivity issues that, that receive that so that we can get those kids graduated. So that's number one. Uh, the other kids that we're uh, want to make sure that we get to are kids that have different tests so they don't lose college credit for. And those are your kids that are dual enrollment and those kids who are taking AP classes to make sure that those kids get that, high, that articulated credit. Uh, those kids that are doing the industry search so that they get those and pass those industry search. Uh, we can bring kids in and small groups to test and to do some of these things, so we'll be working to do that. Um, so you know, that, that's been the focus. We're working to make sure that every parent and every student uh, has been contacted. And I'm gonna, <clears throat> as last week, Julia got out and we served about 5,000 meals last week. I do have to compliment Julia and the food and, uh, nutrition staff, those workers and the volunteers that worked in there. 
uh, what other teachers are there aids to make sure we get that out. We'll be doing another um, round starting next Tuesday. We'll be taking delivering meals, whether it's grab and go to the schools or on the buses, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so um, I'll read to you an email or two here. <clears throat> but I'll just have to uh, express to you the heart and attitude that the people have had while they've been delivering the foods, the bus drivers, the food, uh, our cafeteria workers, and just the heart that they have for these kids and these families. <clears throat> Got to read to you an email here, and uh, this actually from the Wills Mill High School parent or a middle school teacher. It says, <clears throat> "Excuse me, if you haven't begun your phone calls to parents, I urge you to get started ASAP. This will take longer than you think. These parents are very concerned for their children, <clears throat> and what things are going to look like educationally. They are also very concerned about the big picture beyond education. They are." Uh, concerned about food, finances, health, etc. Many of them need someone just to listen. We need to remember the needs of our students and their families are going beyond education. While we're speaking to them, <clears throat> the parents are seeing us as a point of help and support in more ways than education. My phone calls so far have been proof that it definitely takes a village, and right now, some of our parents, we are in the village. So, <clears throat> that goes one of the things I espouse around here is servant leadership. And that's what we need to be. We need to be servant leaders. Um, so this is the time for public education to shine. And I, uh, I know we be counting will. So it's that time. One of the things, and uh, for our press here today, one of the things that's kind of got lost in this, it's not lost, but you know, the coronavirus is overshadowed, is that we do have some good news from our legislation. Uh, we have the new chief of middle high school project is in all three budgets now, and just waiting to get approved. And I'm sure our legislative, uh, Mr. Coward will be talking a little bit about that, but we are on track for that to happen. I expect it to be more important now for projects like this than ever before because when you have construction projects, those dollars get spent eight times. So those projects like the new school is ever more important than it used to be because those dollars can be reinvested in the communities. So it, that's what I have. Thank you very much for the comments. Um, I'll start with uh, Mr. Etheridge. I don't have a lot because I'm sure we're going to read any, a lot of uh, what's been said, but uh, I read the other day where, and I think probably more than ever now, uh, our small communities and our rural areas, school is the center of what we do, and the unnormalcy of not having school uh, disrupts a lot of people's lives, so I appreciate what the staff has done, administrators have done to try to keep all uh, the communication lines open with students um, and some normalcy and, and uh, you know we I know we have students who who, uh, who depend upon our meals every day at school and uh, so those bus deliveries and I even talked to a parent the other day that said their elementary school children were just glad to see the bus coming yeah. down the road so so that part of the normalcy of, of it because uh, you know I, I don't, who knows what this looks like coming out the other side fear it's probably like 9-11 after this is over with, we won't know what normal was, I mean, because it will be different from this point forward, so, um, but, you know, the superintendent and I were talking yesterday, there's always good in everything, and I catch ourselves in a family where we've been spending more time the way most families should be, around the dinner table, right. so, they're, uh, they're, they're always good in the bads, and, and <coughs> if we, uh, as leaders of our community, uh, help keep the calm, that's what we got to do. Uh, this will come and go in time, mm -hmm. and we do our part of it to help keep the sanity uh, and the level-headedness about it. Uh, I think that's part of our job as uh, the hub of our communities and our schools are. So, that's it. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Ms. Clemency? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. 
you. Mr. Aswell? Yeah, you guys hear me? Yes, we do. Thank you very much. Mr. Aswell? Mr. Aswell?
was talking about, like, if you, you know, and I'm sure that we have some people like this, that maybe they're a teacher's aide or a bus driver or a bus aide or whatnot, if they're bilingual, using them to help with our ESOL people. So, and, and just knowing, um, just trying to, to get as much to be creative to think outside the box as possible. So, um, the other thing that I'd like us to think uh, going forward and looking through our policy to see if there is any type of policy that we need to give the superintendent a little bit more authority in times like this to be able to act um, just on the unknown little things like that that may be arise. So that going forward may try and search out and see what other districts have done to see if to be able to provide the superintendent that authority. Yeah, I think I have a draft policy on my desk right now. I've uh, been working, this is that's not a Levy County issue, but a uh, statewide issue to deal with, uh, uh, shall we say, board meetings. We don't have a quorum or, or what to do in emergencies. And so I know NEPAC has drafted up a policy, and, and matter of fact, it came yesterday. And I know in some instances, instead of doing a policy, they just did a resolution, and all these things can be, you know, time certain or whatever need be. So just a couple of things, so, but, um, and once again, is um, no deal. We know how important that is to uh, our, our kids, and just uh, from the bottom of my heart, just appreciate everybody that uh, participated in that, whether they delivered, whether they packed, whether they made phone calls, whatever it was. So I uh, appreciate that very, very much. And uh, appreciate Morgan and Mr. Golock uh, for being able to get this up and running for us to be able to participate like that. So. Thank you very much. Mr. Cowart, do you have any other information, um, legislative information about the, the new school? It was voted, so they did vote the budget uh, on Wednesday, and now it goes to the governor's desk. I was trying to, to track down the uh, budget for the new school, but it was a little bit late, so I didn't get that far. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you on the budget. Um, there will be, I encourage us to be uh, as conservative as we can with our reserves going forward. Um, they're going to have a, a June uh, budget conference where they're going to reevaluate and take a look at what has taken place, uh, how it's affected our economy, how it's affected uh, visitors, tourism, sales tax, all these different things that, uh, that go into shaping the, uh, the state budget and how it's going to affect us going forward. Um, and, and so that's, I, that's where we're at. I was very, very happy Senator Bradley and Representative Stone both reached out to me. Uh, and both of them said it was in there, it's the budget, we're good to go. I just wanted to, to wait until we got to, to Wednesday, but it is voted on, and uh, we are, are, are funded. So, and now we just wait on the governor. It's the next thing. Thank you very, very much. Um, I um, also uh, will truly appreciate the, uh, the teachers and the staff and everything that they're doing and the ways that they are reaching out remotely and about with computers and the things that they're getting together to help our students during this critical time. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed helping with the students and uh, the lunches the other day and it's, it's truly a, a humbling experience and, and it's something that is needed and, and I'm thankful that we're continuing that program to feed our students and, and help them out. Uh, I know that we've all been hit really hard with questions and um, the graduation issues and just truly the unknown. So, you know, we don't know what we don't know, like Mr. Edison said, and, and I just think that we need to, you know, remember our president and his team and um, that we need to continue to pray every day um, for our entire nation because it is affecting us all. And, um, and, and I'm very concerned um, about our school and our funding. And uh, Mr. Howard said that, you know, how the impact of um, you know, closing um, our, our state, our tourist state, and, the, and what's happening, because it's, it certainly has been a major, major impact on restaurants that I personally know, and I know that it has impacted everyone in some way, and it will continue. So um, I'm just going to continue to pray and, and 
be thankful for all the blessings that we do have and our board members and all of our um, staff. So thank you very much. And if we don't have any other comments or questions or anything, um, Mr. Donnie, did you have anything we need to address? Well, thank you very much. And everyone, thanks for um, our meeting today and, and getting together like this. And, um, continue to be safe. Yeah.